So, that's Porta Fisco, the former metropolis of the Rust Red Sea. A real dump, even by Deponian standards. And what is that awful stench? I like them. They're like me, always against the flow. These tires are worn out and boring, but if they were burning... Somewhere back there, the last high boat to Elysium is at anchor. Looks like the Organon has sealed off this city. I would call that a challenge. Unfortunately, I have other problems at the moment. You got lucky, Organon! <laughs> Rufus have fire! <gasps> What's better than a mountain of tires? Right, a mountain of burning tires! <laughs> The burning tire is sort of my heraldic animal. All that's missing are the vampire fans. Huh, that reminds me of my superb trick with the field kitchen. He seems somehow familiar. Hey there, uh, socially disadvantaged contemporary. <laughs> uh, is that necessary? Why, isn't that the politically correct term? I especially didn't say rancid bum, although it was very tempting. My name is Goon, and if you want to make fun of the homeless, you're in the wrong place. Hey, don't worry. I'm a friend of the little guy. The little guy? Yeah, his name is Wenzel. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I'd almost forgotten. The lower classes don't understand the language of the educated elite. Fortunately, I'm well versed in ghetto slang. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 please don't do that. Hey ho, my brother, what's up in the hood? Please stop that. I haven't always lived on the street. I'm an academic. Oh, yeah, now I understand. This is some sort of uh, social experiment, right? You've disguised yourself as a tramp in order to study their customs. Um, precisely. <laughs> Very clever. I almost fell for it, but not, not quite. I will admit, your stink is authentic. But as far as your behavior goes, there's a lot to improve. I'm very familiar with the habits of the average hobo. I could uh, teach you a few things if you'll answer a couple of questions in return. But no, no objections. I insist. You look hungry. I am. For months, I've been living off the algae that grow on the key wall. My gums are bleeding, but what else can I do? <laughs> I see you're making an effort, but <clears throat> just because it's pathetic, that doesn't make it, you know, bum style. So, so, what do bums eat? Whatever they can find, I'm afraid. No, 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 wrong. Last week, I even nibbled off the scabs from a discarded bandage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said wrong. No, bums eat shoes. What? Shoes. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Amateur. Are you still hungry? Yes. Do you have anything for me to eat? <laughs> now that's the way I like it. Begging is very authentic. But I'm really, really hungry. No, no, no. Don't overdo it. First, internalize this lesson. Okay, I'll explain how to eat a shoe later. Oh, what is that horrible smell? Oh, how insensitive of me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> don't you think you're overdoing it a bit? <laughs> Very funny. You don't exactly smell of orchids yourself. Hey, stay in character, okay? A bum like you doesn't even know what, what, what orchid delias are. So keep it cool, okay? Is that your umbrella? Hey, hands off! It's the only thing I still own. The weather here on the key can sometimes be... Quite unpleasant. Yet, don't worry, I'm not going to take it away from you. I'm just going to make a couple of modifications. It just, it looks too new. You think so? Even though it was struck by lightning the other day? 
There, that should do. But now it won't protect me from the rain at all. Yeah, don't be so ungrateful. I'm helping you stay in character. Can I borrow your umbrella? Are you crazy? First you break it, and now you want to take it away from me? Well, if it's broken, then what do you need it for? As a, a prop for my role. Okay, okay. How about a deal? I'll give you something to eat, and you give me the umbrella. Agreed? You... you would really do that for me? Of course. I told you I was a philanthropist. Can I have the umbrella now? Did... did you bring me something to eat? I'm almost... Dead of hunger! Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I can almost buy it. A, a little more trembling and less wailing and you'll have nailed it. We could practice a little freestyling. Yeah, as a resident of the ghetto, you only have to master one instrument, the beatbox. Beatbox? It's very simple. Like this. Oom, a two. Oom, oom, a two. Oom, a two. And now, you. Oom, a two. Oom, oom, a two. <laughs> Rufus got the groove. Rufus got the groove, yeah. Who's cooler than a platypus in hibernation? Who kicks ass in any situation? Who makes ladies faint and shriek? Can't be copied, he's unique. It's Rufus. Yeah, yeah, Rufus. Who's got style? Who is cooler? Who can fool her? Who's the ruler? Who is daring, never queasy? Who will soon be in Elysee? Um, Rufus! Yeah, yeah, Rufus! Baum! Baum! Hey, hey, hey! What? What? Huh? What's that supposed to be? Well, I thought I'd build in a break. You know, that's not thinking. That's pushing yourself into the spotlight. I mean, apparently there's no point in trying to teach you to freestyle. <laughs> Too bad that was one cool song, you bum. You didn't happen to see a submersible go by here. No, sorry. I left my snorkeling gear in my winter house. Oh, that's a pity. Wait a minute! You don't have a winter home! That was sarcasm! <laughs> You're quick on the uptake. Yeah, okay. No more sarcasm. All right, bums, don't use sarcasm. Can you tell me a few things about Porta Fisco? Certainly. What would you like to know? Who lives in the tent? Oh, that is the tent of the seer. An astounding fellow. They say he can predict the future. Tch, he doesn't know property values in the real estate market, for one thing. He used to be a wealthy man. They said he could even predict lottery numbers, but his business isn't doing so well anymore. That's why he switched to couples counseling. He gives relationship advice? Why not? He's got the ideal qualifications for it. A psychology degree? A crystal ball. How do I get to the Upper Ascension Station? You can't. The Organon has sealed off all the routes to the Ascension Customs. Do you know where I can find the Rebels' secret hideout? Huh? Sure. The entrance is right here in the sewers. No, no, I meant the secret hideout. I only know this one here. Isn't Porta Fisco also an Organon settlement? It's even their central headquarters. Ulysses has his office right by the Ascension Customs of the Upper Ascension Station. It's always been the Organon's job to keep the Deponians away from the high boats. Now there's only one left, and they say it will be leaving the planet very soon. Who knows? Maybe then the Organon will finally disappear from Porta Fisco. Then all of Porta Fisco will make a great leap upwards. Yeah, more than you think. Uh, pardon me. Uh, it's uh, uh, boring, I think. Huh. I can't say I found the story all that boring. Okay, let's change the subject. This place is somehow depressing. Yes, yes, I, I can understand that. Uh, Porto Fisco has depressed me my whole life long. Yes, but you aren't that important, so it isn't as bad for you. Smell you later, and remember what I taught you. Sure thing, my brother. Oh, and, uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more tip. Nobody likes a smart ass. What a waste. That could have been turned into a fantastic escape mechanism. Or a high-speed cheese grater. That's one of those handy slots where you can insert power inverters. It fits! Hmm... This was bound to happen. The tank is empty.
Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha! <laughs> Good luck. Plus, minus, plus. What is that supposed to mean? I must say, I'm nonplussed. Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janlish is expecting you. Rufus, pleased to see you. Janosh, wow. What you built up here is... It's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah. Why am I only number two? By now, we have one more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely. Although that is counting the three trained dolphins, Ashley. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Ah. I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Where did they get those uniforms so fast? Hey, Anosh. Ah, Rufus, death to the Organon and show on. How did you manage to mobilize so many people in such a short time? I think they are just used to having a planet under their feet. And I also promised them t-shirts with funny prints, if we win. What's Tony doing here? You know number 26. She joined the rebellion because someone destroyed her hometown. Yeah, I know. The Organon. No, no, not the Organon. Somebody called Evan Bastard. Never heard of him. What's up with those torpedo dolphins? Cool, aren't they? If you need them, talk to number 26. But don't expect too much. I had to share the torpedo equipment to order pizza for all of us. You sold all the torpedo equipment? Yes, in the gadget shop in the floating black market. The chopper mat gave me fireproof insoles as a bonus. <sighs> Donna is hiding underwater. <laughs> I almost wish I hadn't sold the torpedo equipment. On the other hand, the peach of us very good. Melty cheesy with the pepperoni. Isn't it a little too risky to operate directly under the nose of the Organon? Oh, uh, speaking of which, you got a booger there. A booger? Ooh, icky, icky, icky. But that is exactly the point. You can't see right under your nose, and down here in the sewers, nobody wants to smell either. We are even almost out of air fresheners. Oh, I'm off to hunt submersibles. I wish you luck, FIFA Revolution. I'm not surprised she came crawling back to me. Well, bad luck, Tony. I've got a real girlfriend now. Well, two thirds of one. Well, look who came toddling after me. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. 
Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Goal. And where is Goal? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. Goal is waiting outside, and she's in good health. At least two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me, huh? Well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuer syndrome. Call it what you want. I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. I can't argue with that. Great to have you here. Beat it! Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you still dream of me. I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. Oh. You won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. Hey, how did you know that? Because that's the way this conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say, But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. Darn it. The a dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Yanon. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say, number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit! Oh, aye aye, boss. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. Oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting, recruit. You cannot be serious. Yanosh. Recruit! You're out of your minds. I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it. I have to go. I have important things to do. Leading and whatnot. What? No cynical final remarks? I thought I'd try something else. I hoped maybe it would make you disappear faster. Heh, <laughs> didn't work, did it? Nope. And do you enjoy working under my wise leadership? <sighs> Drop and give me 20, recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey, this is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death of one of our comrades. You miserable! Uh-oh. And do you enjoy... I have a couple of questions about the dolphins. Uh, no, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But... 
Why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those aren't torpedo dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Aww, how cute. There. What was that? B what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get away from the pool. Yes, all right, all right. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. How can I cheer up the dolphins? Jump in front of a moving cruiser? No, there aren't any cruisers down here. But it might help. They love physical comedy. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Not where you're thinking. <laughs> That's a relief. Janosch sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. How did you wind up training dolphins? I told them I used to live with a crazy baboon. Apparently, that qualified me. I need the dolphin's help for my hunt. No way! Oh, Tony, please! This is important! He's right, 26. Rufus needs your dolphins more than we do. All right. But right now, you won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me. I'm Tony. My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. You know, I think we should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry for tuna. And my ulcer is acting up again. I have to go. I have important things to do. Bleeding and whatnot. What? No cynic. I thought I... I hoped... Heh, <laughs> didn't we... No. There's no more diesel. Alash. Actually, we needed to run the turbine in the shoeish. Luckily for us, the winds out there are offshore right now. As soon as the wind turns, the stinking here becomes unbearable. You even have a kitchen? Certainly. We have to supply our troops somehow. Wow! That's more than I would have expected of you. What do you think? We aren't just playing around. Would your new friend like an orange juice, Janos? Not now, Mama. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make anything happen. I'm serious. I will. Uh, that wasn't enough. Hey, you! Should Uncle Rufus teach you a couple of tricks? Hmm? Oh, they're so happy! Sweet! Uh, hello? Oh, hello! Another new face! Are you one of Janosch's little friends? Hey, listen, I'm the leader of a rebellion against the Organon. Of course you are! Would our brave leader like an orange juice? Maybe later. You wouldn't happen to have any cat food. I'm sorry, my boy, no. I wanted to make some earlier, but the nice young lady pointed out to me that the baby dolphins aren't part of the supplies. What nice young lady? What's that supposed to be? Um, nothing. I want to teach the baby dolphins a couple of tricks. You want to do what? Or did I say teach? Show. Of course, I meant show. I want to show them a couple of tricks to cheer them up. I don't want them to end up depressed, like their parents. If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. The nice lady didn't say that. Once she sees how great you are at jumping through the burning hoops, she'll be blown away. So let's go, Allie. You.
Hmm. They still need a little incentive. Yes! That's the way I can teach the dolphins the hoop trick. Oh boy, Tony will be so impressed. I can hardly wait to show her who's the real dolphin trainer around here. Here, fishy fishy! On the other hand, Tony seems to be really busy right now. Huh? Where did that come from? That just screams for a brilliant maneuver. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphin. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polish. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. Janosch is having torpedo dolphins trained in his rebel camp. Is that some sort of dirty metaphor? Uh, no, I mean that literally. Hmm, pity. What's that funky smell? I hope it isn't you. No, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's what I would have said in your place. Yeah, to distract suspicion away from you. Why should I? I smell fantastic. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <coughs> it's yeah, that yeah, guy it's, back it's there. that bum Subject over there, closed. no doubt. I wonder who lives in that tent up there? Probably another poor lunatic. Yeah, lots of those around here. Roughly three per trawler. No sign of Donna Goal. You aren't really making much of an effort, are you? Hey. I'm saving my energy for upcoming challenges. And what if the challenges don't come? Trust me, they're on their way. They're massive for a surprise attack. In the end, all our plans will be foiled, and nothing but an extremely risky coup can save us. And it always works like that? Every time. Cool. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent! My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But no matter. You are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. Are, are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes, but I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings. To yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. Say what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times and so you gave up fortune telling? B -b -b no, I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. 
Will I succeed in saving the world? The future is not yet written, Rufus, except in my journal, of course. I will be very busy next month, so I get a little ahead of myself. Why do you live in a tent? My customers expect a mystical ambience. It is also practical. In the event of a catastrophe, I can pack all my belongings together in a matter of minutes. W wait what sort of catastrophe? Oops. Um, the fabric of time is in constant motion. A veil lies across the future. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uncertainty plays naked on the bongos. There is no gasoline for satin nav's chainsaw. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, don't change the subject. What sort of catastrophe? Ooh, ooh. <sighs> Darn it. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless, believe me. I really don't want your bananas. Ugh, boring. Resign yourself to the inevitable and take the bananas already. They are tasty. Luscious banana. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. There's one thing he didn't foresee, the consequences of wearing hats. No way! My fate is in my own hands! Although they do look very useful. Ah, it is time. The time of the great banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me! I can fight it! Go on, accept your fate. No! Never! Go on. Take them. Help yourself. No! <laughs> That's the way. Submit to your fate. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's guaranteed to cheer up the dolphins. Huh. Darn! My plan obviously needs a little polishing. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. A fortune teller? No way, forget it. Why should I let some random imposter tell me where I'm going? Hey, I don't believe in that stuff either. I meant you. Oh. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're into squalor. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Says the woman with brain damage. Janosh is having torpedo dolphins trained in his rebel camp. Oh, <gasps> how cute! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. But where will we get the pink bones? Uh, I haven't got that far yet. What's that funky smell? I hope it isn't me. No, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's so sweet of you. But I must smell terrible. I haven't brushed my teeth today. And if you don't do that three times a day, bacteria will form in your mouth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And on weekends, they meet with the Yeti and put addictive substances into adhesives. But there are addictive substances in adhesives. Oh, poor goal. Poor gullible goal. No sign of Donna Goal. We can do this! Did I ever say anything to the contrary? Not you. But Doc was mumbling earlier that it makes no sense to look for a submersible on land. 
Yeah, well, Doc is completely clueless. It sounded logical. You know, logic is for people who are too lazy to aimlessly try things out. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Ah, oh, fortune teller. Wow. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg. Next year already? So it is written. It's because of the head. Heralds need to breathe too. Oh. There he is. Hey, what were you two talking about? Nothing. Let us begin. So, what do you want? How do I prevent Goal from marrying Cletus? What? You aren't a couple? This is couples counseling. I only answer question relating to your partnership. Oh yeah, let me rephrase that. What does our future together look like? Tricky. I should ask the ball. I see. That you still have a long, difficult path before you. Before us? Don't you mean behind us? Are you holding the ball the right way around? Um, I think so. At any rate, there is an arrow on the bottom. This side up, it says here. So there's still a long road ahead of us. That's great, as long as we're together. Will we find Donna Goal in time? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. Let me rephrase that. Will Goal and I ever really get together? A good question. I see. You will undergo painful changes before you get together. You both must first come to terms with yourselves. Wow! Have you ever thought about selling embroidered pillows? They would sell like hotcakes! Are we going to survive all this? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. Let me rephrase that. What does the future hold for our health? I see. Oh my goodness. That is terrible. How can anyone survive that? What? What do you see? <sighs> you don't want to know. Believe me. I must urgently advise you to stay as far away from each other as possible. Never! We will always be there for each other, won't we, Rufus? What will happen to Deponia? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. Let me rephrase that. Where will we grow old together? On Elysium? Well, that should be... Simple to answer. I see. Huh? What's wrong? The ball suddenly went dark. Very strange. <laughs> that must be because the ball is showing scenes that aren't suitable for youngsters. Or oh, we're taking a romantic walk at night. In any case, it's a good sign. I'm sure of it. And, uh, what are this week's lottery numbers? I don't understand what this has to do with your relationship. Let me rephrase that. Will we be rich? Lottery winner rich? This is a trick, huh? Well, all right. I'll see if I can perceive anything in the ball. I see... That you will be rich. Oh yeah, I knew it! Rich in experience. Provided you survive all this. Oh, what more can one wish for? <laughs> A tip on the lottery numbers, maybe? 
but the ball will say no more. Ah, this is all humbug. You're holding the ball upside down. I'm afraid not. Here, you are welcome to take a look for yourself. Where have you dragged me to this time? And who's that with the pipe? That's the seer. Seer? Um... Him, actually. Oh, I sense a new aura. And you're about to sense a whole lot of pain. I'm not interested in listening to some esoteric hippy dippy nonsense. It's more like couples counseling. Like what? Come on, it'll be fun. And I was about to ask a new question. What was that about our future together again? See that you still have a long, difficult path before you. This is humbug. Let's get out of here. No, j j just a minute. What was that about our getting together? Before you get together, you both must first come to terms with yourselves. This guy is starting to drive me crazy! May I slap him? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun, but uh, hold off on that for a sec. What was that about our wealth? Oh, you will be rich. Rich in experience, provided you Survive all this. That's enough. I can't take any more of this. What? How about now? We want to hear lottery numbers. Otherwise, I'll tell you what I can read from entrails. Oh, wait a moment. I haven't said everything yet. The ball isn't telling me the numbers, but... It says they are written in the stars. That is bound to help you. Please, don't hit me. Huh. If this tip doesn't pay off, you'll be seeing stars. I promise you that. The nice dear, I'm getting in night here. A jack that settled in our clock, they reckon about as if to mock. The noise is fast bearing, if I am not erring. A jack in the chronograph, I'm having a laugh. 